Today, the CDC and FDA announced that they are calling a pause on the administration of the J&J &J vaccine for COVID-19 due to a small number of adverse events. It was seen in six out of the 6.85 million people who've been vaccinated, and out of an abundance of caution, they've called a pause on the administration. There are a couple of reasons to do that. The first is to investigate this a bit further, and the second is to alert the clinicians out there when someone comes in with these types of symptoms to ask them if they have a history of a recent vaccination. The people who've already gotten the vaccine should not be worried because, as I mentioned, this is a very rare event, one in more than a million individuals. The J&J &J vaccine has been shown in clinical trials to be highly efficacious. What we're talking about now has nothing to do with the efficacy of the vaccine. The federal government is working with the distributors of this vaccine to see if we can expedite getting appointments to get an alternative vaccine, namely either the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine. Over 120 million people have received at least one dose of the vaccines. Out of that 120 million, only a small proportion, 6.85 million or J&J, &J, all the rest are either Moderna and Pfizer. There have been no signals that there's any concern about adverse events among those tens of millions of people. Absolutely, you should get vaccinated. The danger of COVID-19 as a disease clearly overwhelmingly outstrips any risk of an adverse event from a vaccine.